All right, everybody. Um, welcome to uh, my channel. This is uh, X Submariner plays U-boat. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Dendris. Um, so we uh, finished our Norwegian campaign, and we're uh, about to decide what uh, what's our next uh, campaign, what's our next uh, objective going to be. Um, I was thinking about this uh, Scapa flow, um, but I need to get some more points uh, so I can uh, have uh, aerial reconnaissance of the area. Because I want to know where all the submarine nets are and mines, if possible. Uh, any, as much information as I can before I go into that area. Um, I really didn't want to feel, I didn't feel like doing the mining. Uh, we may do that uh, in the future. Um, uh, but uh, I think we're going to go do the uh, convoy route. Um, in the meantime, um, so uh, in the meantime, just uh, real quick. Um, so uh, I, I just wanted a, a quick response to uh, to a comment that was uh, made, and uh, uh, there was uh, someone that was uh, wanted me to uh, prove that I was uh, an exo mariner. Um, which uh, honestly is hard to do. I mean, you know, I could, I could give you uh, all the information and and maybe, uh, <laughs> you, you know, uh, do uh, do a Zoom video where I can put my face next to you know next to uh, my DD two fourteen or or uh, uh, my. Uh, um, Photograph, you know, they take pictures uh, at boot camp uh, in your uniform, and I can show that. I can show my, show me graduating from sub school, um, uh, that that picture and stuff. But I, I don't want to, you know, I, I'm not, I don't want to dox myself, and and I'm not, I'm not uh, faulting the the guy for uh, asking the questions. Um, you know, I I think uh, I I taught. Uh, uh, science in high school for a brief period. Um, I was uh, working toward being a teacher at one time. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's important uh, to have uh, a uh, uh, not believe everything that you see on, on the internet, obviously, right? Uh, and and to be credulous, right? Or you know, say, hey, you know, are you or you know, uh, have a healthy uh, uh, um, bit of a credulity. Um, and and so uh, you know, I I, I wish I could. Uh, uh, provide that information without uh, doxing myself, and I just I just don't really want to dox myself, you know. Um, but uh, I guess in in that way, I'm going to have to ask you guys at this point to kind of you know take me at my word. I guess you know um, you can choose to believe or not. I don't know how important that is to you. Um, uh, it is, uh, um, you know, I, I, I want you guys to enjoy my videos. Uh, I do have my experiences uh, that I can talk about, uh, that I try to talk about in the videos and impart some of my things that I've learned and, and information that I've gained. And But, uh, you know, I over mostly I want you guys to enjoy the videos, right? But uh, uh, I appreciate uh, uh, all those people that uh, view my videos, um, and uh, I, I don't want to take. I'm I'm not here to take advantage of anybody. Um, you can choose to watch them or not. The, these videos. Um, I hope you do. And I hope you enjoy them. Uh, on another note, um, we're going to be talking about uh, the uh, U-boat 
type seven uh, torpedo systems. Um, and so we'll be getting into that. We'll talk about uh, the torpedo systems on board the boat. I did dip a little bit into it uh, when we were talking about uh, uh, high pressure air. And uh, uh, how, how uh, the high pressure air used uh, to uh, launch the torpedoes in the boat, but uh, we didn't really get into depth in, in too, too in depth into that. Um, but uh, without uh, further ado, um, let's go grab a mission. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. Dies sind die heutigen Aufträge vom BDU. Streng geheim. Okay, I think um, I'd like to, uh, to do the uh, high difficulty. A large uh, number of vessels uh, are anticipated in the area. Uh, it gives a, gives a reward of uh, ace. Um, and I think uh, you have to get uh, 200,000 tons. So we're probably not going to make that uh, this at this time, but uh, I'd like to be able to uh, get that skill if possible. Um, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, go for that. Um, and we'll get on our way. Uh, Scaffold flow, we'll have to wait. Uh, and the mine lane is going to wait uh, next time. Some other time. Um, and uh, uh, like I said, uh, anyway, it's a healthy. Uh, uh, when I was talking about uh, uh, incredul incredulity or credulity, uh, I, I don't know if I said credulity or incredulity. But anyways, um, basically, you, you don't don't believe everything you see on the internet, right? I mean, you should be taught that in high school, middle school, even elementary school, right? Um, you know, you don't have to believe everything uh, you, you, uh, you read about on the internet or see, right? Um, but anyways, I don't know why I said credulity. Slip of the tongue, I guess. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So uh, let's get going on our mission and uh, have a little fun. Station the maneuvering watch. Prepare to get underway. All right. All right. Uh, so we're getting ready to uh, go through the English Channel. It's foggy, which uh, is perfect because uh, we don't want to have uh, any problems uh, running into uh, ships. Um, I guess perfect in one way. One way is uh, the visibility is poor, so it's harder for them to see us, and harder, but also it's harder for us to see them. So hopefully we don't uh, run into any uh, uh, destroyers along the way. But uh, we shouldn't have to worry, as long as it's foggy, we shouldn't have to worry about uh, aircraft. So I guess that's a plus. So we'll see. Uh, See you on the other side uh, when we uh, get to our patrol area. All right, uh, appears we have um, fog is cleared. We're in the middle of the channel, and we're going to have to uh, probably dive pretty soon, or we might take on this uh, aircraft. Might make our uh, patrol pretty short. 
we're gonna go ahead and we sped up. Uh, we might take on that aircraft. Uh, but of course, uh, it might bring some more. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if we have to, we'll dive and uh, uh, hopefully it won't bring any uh, friends. and they've done here. here. the aircraft down there. We'll let, uh, we'll let them stay on the flak stations for now. him on uh, diesels. Let's get going a bit quicker here. So 
Well, that aircraft is still sticking around, looks like. Probably bringing some friends. Let's see what happens. Huh? I have to dive, I'll dive. I was hoping we'd be able to shoot it down before it got to us, but... Uh... coming here. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. All right, they got him. Good job, boys. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't get the uh, get there in time for the uh, to capture of the pilot. Like there's a destroyer or some some uh, escort vessel uh, trying to chase us. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Well, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what. Uh, Usually I dive for uh, aircraft, but um, I thought I'd just kind of show you what uh, fighting on the surface it with the flat guns kind of looks like. Let's uh, let's get to our our uh, patrol area as fast as we can. reached our patrol area um, no more uh, aircraft uh, issues uh, we didn't run into any uh, uh, destroyers or Corvettes no escort ships um, uh, pretty much we just uh, went flank speed uh, through the channel uh, it's rough there's a rough start to our uh, patrol here as you can see, the waves are uh, white caps. Waves are pretty rough here. Um, we did uh, somewhere. We we did lose a crew member um, for some reason. I'm not sure why uh, we lost. I'm not sure why we. Uh, Lost a crew member. Said uh, one of the crew members drowned, so maybe they got uh, knocked off the conning tower off the watch. Um, I don't know. Some, something happened. Um, uh, that is part of the danger of uh, of uh, speeding up time. Uh, sometimes you, you try to stop it. Uh, too late. Oh, 
but uh, so we were down one crew member, sadly. We'll go ahead and uh, get to uh, the area I want to get to uh, towards the uh, Irish coast there, just south of it. Uh, I think that's a good area for hunting uh, merchants. get us toward our 200,000 ton goal. It'll probably take us uh, at least uh, two or three patrols to be set at the minimum, I think. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky. All right. Uh, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, uh, I see on the horizon uh, we have a convoy it looks like, uh, at least I hope it's a convoy, it's uh, hard to tell. Um, we may uh, take a dive to listen and see what it's about. Okay, I think uh, I think what I want to do is uh, I try to get ahead of them. Uh, I think they're headed uh, east, so uh, I'll show you direction. So let's see if I can get ahead of them and get in position. I'm not sure if that's a convoy or not. It, does, it looks pretty small. Definitely a warship of some kind. Another warship. Um, and another warship. So, uh, never mind. I don't think I want to go that way. Yeah, so it looks like uh, there's three or four uh, warships in that. Uh, group um, so it must be a task force hunter killer task force probably uh, so we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, go around all right so we uh, took a li listen uh, underwater for a little bit uh, and uh, we uh, could hear uh, some small convoys in the area, some actually some small groups of ships. Um, a lot of them look like they're probably task forces. Uh, at least uh, it's been my experience that uh, small groups um, tend to be uh, uh, task, the task force, hunter-killer groups. Um, but we are going to be headed toward uh, one that has uh, a few more ships, uh, seven to ten. I'm going to hope uh, that it, uh, uh, it's a nice convoy. Uh, maybe it's unescorted. We can only hope. And then uh, we're going to get in position. So we're heading that way uh, as fast as we can. So uh, let's see, uh, see what we got when we get there. Another aircraft. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and this time I'm going to uh, just... Uh, I've done. I want to listen in, anyways. So, uh, make sure that we're on track to uh, intercepting that uh, convoy. But, uh, somewhere out there uh, is that aircraft.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, that it didn't see us. So I, see. Uh, I don't think it's us. But just in case, uh, I know we can go ahead and uh, risk another uh, uh, anti-air fight. But I'm not really. I'm not worth. I'm not willing to do that right now. Fifty. Maybe next time. But we are going to take a listen while we're down here. See if we can hear anything. Herr Galloy, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. There we go. Auf Seerohrtiefe. All right, uh, we're doing our periscope sweep after diving from that aircraft. Um, doesn't appear to be uh, uh, any aircraft in the area. No warships in the area. Sonar didn't detect anything. Periscopes, uh, nothing on uh, periscopes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, surface the ship. Uh, we did uh, spot, uh, or Sonar did report, uh, a, sounds like a lone merchant. Um, so we're going to try to intercept that lone merchant first um, and then uh, circle back for that uh, convoy. So uh, I think we'll do the gunnery if possible uh, with that lone merchant. All right, uh, I can spot some uh, smoke uh, on the horizon there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can uh, catch up to that. Uh, I think that might be our uh, lone merchant. Uh, we do have uh, aircraft possible, so. Uh, we may have to do an, another. Uh, I don't want to dive at this point. Um, not when I need to catch up to this uh, aircraft or uh, merchant. Uh, so uh, we might have some gunnery and uh, um, uh, anti air action going on pretty soon. But uh, let's catch up to this guy here, hopefully. And uh, I don't know where that aircraft, where it is here. I think that aircraft uh, probably spotted us. and I do. Uh, catch up to that uh, merchant though. Levi guys on uh, on the flax AA guns there. All right, uh, we've caught up to our merchant. Um, uh, we just got to get uh, in a good position. Make sure we get to this uh, get to this guy quick before any more aircraft show up. Uh, seas don't look too bad. Um, they're a little 
rough, but uh, they're not washing too. They're not washing on overboard that much. I think we'll be fine. Uh, this this game doesn't model, uh, uh, at least not yet, uh, doesn't model uh, being washed overboard. But if you want to be realistic, uh, you might uh, not do gun reactions uh, if it's too rough. It is a little rough. That's true. We'll see when we get there. a little low in the water. Probably almost done here. They should be launching lifeboats pretty soon, I would think. Go ahead and slow down a little bit. Launching uh, lifeboats. All right, stow the gun before my guys get washed overboard here. All right, and up ahead you can see. Uh, that's that's the new sonar uh, head that we did, the KDD KDD uh, sonar. Uh, it's got six uh, uh, hydrophones that you can turn to kind of uh, triangulate uh, positions so it's a little bit more accurate for sonar. All right, uh, we took uh, some survivors on board, gave out some uh, supplies uh, to the poor souls there. And uh, well, they're pretty close to the, they're not in the middle of the Atlantic. Um, so they should be fine. Just. Uh, Head north, east, north, or east. Okay, I should be fine. All right. Uh, so let's uh, see if we can uh, intercept our other uh, convoy. All right. Uh, I think we managed to get uh, in uh, ahead of our convoy. Um, uh, wasn't too difficult. Uh, the previous merchant uh, 
was way uh, way ahead of them, uh, that loan merchant. Um, and looking around, I don't see any other sh convoys or ships in the area. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, get in position, uh, get set up uh, to uh, intercept this convoy, let them roll right over us, and uh, we can uh, give them a little surprise. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to periscope depth. I can't tell how many uh, escorts they have. Um, I'm going to assume at least three to five, but it's just so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like nine ships, uh, so maybe uh, three to four escorts, possibly. Uh, okay, don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's unescorted. That'll be nice. Um, but uh, we'll get in position here. All right, uh, so we're going to talk about um, the torpedo system, torpedo, uh, torpedo uh, systems on board the U-boat. Um, the torpedo systems, um, there are four torpedoes in the front, uh, one torpedo in the aft, in the stern. Uh, torpedo tubes uh, have an inner and an outer door. Uh, this is the interior door and the exterior door is if you, you can't can't see from there but it's obviously it's in the exterior so so in order to load torpedoes or unload the torpedoes for maintenance uh, you have to be able to uh, close that exterior door uh, so the boat doesn't flood and when you launch the torpedoes you want to make sure that well this the torpedoes won't launch without this door closed but have to have this door closed in order for the in the exterior door open for the uh, torpedo to go out obviously right and so uh, tor torpedo men regularly they'll do uh, maintenance uh, on the torpedoes um, they have to recharge the batteries um, they have to uh, main do maintenance on on the uh, the propellants and the firing mechanism um, you know they're always they got to make those adjustments Uh, if you were able to look inside this torpedo tube, if it was modeled, I don't think it's modeled. Um, but uh, there, there is a, um, there is a uh, a torpedo stop bolt, and that stop bolt that's in there allows uh, holds the torpedo in place while while it's in there, right? And uh, it's also there. It's connected to the torpedo data computer. Uh, uh, sorry, the torpedo uh, direction computer um, through this uh, through this mechanism. This the, this this torpedo. Uh, this is connected with the with the TDC in the conning tower. And this the torpedo data uh, uh, direction uh, computer. Sends information over to this instrument here, this repeater, I guess, you call it, um, and then this will send the uh, information into the uh, electronically into the torpedo. So the torpedoes get their data when they're in the tube. There's a there's a, a hookup for for connecting the uh, torpedo, and it gets that information. Um, we'll talk about the torpedo, uh, 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 the TDC in, in, a, in a little bit, but, uh, in that, uh, in that, uh, tube, uh, there, there are gears for setting the desired depth. 
uh, speed and the gyro angle of the loaded torpedo. Um, the torpedoes are launched by uh, uh, impulse air, uh, compressed air. Uh, we'd say it was 3,000 pounds. And the that tank, the impulse tank that has that air is is, uh, is about 220 liters. And that's what's used to uh, shoot the compressed air into the tube uh, for, for launching the torpedoes. And what happens is they, the torpedo men load up the torpedoes. Uh, the conning tower, the captain or, or officer of the deck inputs the information in the TDC. That gets sent to, to this uh, instrument here. And that puts it into the, uh, the torpedo. And then when everything's ready, when they're ready to go, there is a lever that uh, the torpedo men will uh, a firing rod. And when they press that firing rod, um, and I'm not sure where it's, if they, I don't know if they model it in this, uh, but there should be like a, uh, a firing rod. Uh, that retracts the torpedo stop bolt. So now the torpedo is loose. And then it also, at the same time, it admits uh, that compressed air from the from the uh, air impulse tank into the tube and pushes out the torpedo. Now, um, all that air has to rise to the surface in order to keep that air from uh, in order to keep that air from uh, indicating where the submarine is. Um, the there are. Uh, uh, avoid the appearance of the bubbles, um, there are uh, uh, suppressors to suppress the, uh, the bubbles so, so they don't uh, dissipate, right, dissipate the bubbles. Um, the torpedoes uh, are loaded, extra torpedoes are loaded in, in, in this area. Um, when uh, the uh, usually the, the if I if I remember right the uh, the racks basically um, you sleep on top of the torpedoes or the torpedoes uh, you have to hot bunk so the racks are lifted while the torpedoes are are sitting there and then when you launch them then it gives more room so so basically the rack is lifted the torpedo is is waiting to be put into the tube because there's another torpedo in there and then when that torpedo gets launched next torpedo goes in and I don't I don't think they model model it or maybe they do oh they have it here um so I guess they do uh, sleep on top of them I didn't think they did but anyways so uh uh when they launch those uh, torpedoes um that's that's a change in that's going to change the trim of the boat and so the forward torpedo room has a forward uh, trim uh, tanks, two two of them, and they, these might be it. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, there's another one on the other side here. So I don't. Uh, so, so that will. Uh, so they will flood those to compensate for the loss of that weight, right? Because uh, all that weight, if if you didn't compensate for it, uh, it can cause you to kind of bob up to the surface a bit. All right. Um, So torpedoes are loaded through this tube, through this uh, torpedo loading hatch. They have a crane on the docks that lowers the the, the torpedoes. Uh, they're strapped, and then they lower them into this uh, hatch here, and uh, the crew uh, uses these mechanisms. These, these these to uh, capture the the tube or the torpedo, uh, and then they can load it up. I haven't, you know, uh, it's a little bit different uh, on the boat that I was on. Um, I think each boat is different. Uh, uh, each type of boat, uh, we loaded them up. We didn't load them up through uh, 
through through here. Oh, it's a little bit different. If I remember right. So we're going to go ahead and just ignore that for now. So so the uh, one of the things we want to talk about real quick is the uh, torpedo data computer. Or uh, sorry, the torpedo uh, direction computing, direction computer. And I'm going to go ahead. So the torpedo direction compute, uh, computer uh, takes data from its data is input into this uh, uh, instrument here, the TDC, um, in the direction from the directions of the uh, captain or the officer deck, whoever uh, is is uh, doing that, and and uh, one of the uh, crewmen will in input that into the computer. That will then be translated electrically to to this instrument here, right? And so that instrument will then continue the send it into the uh, to the to the uh, torpedo electrically. Um, in the conning tower. There is a firing switch, um, and uh, uh, on the sail, on the top of the sail, there's also a, a firing switch. Um, let's see here. Let's go back here. So we talked about uh, compensating trim tanks. So. Uh, to drain the water, so once once you have water, once you open these tubes, well, water is going to flood in after after the uh, after the torpedo is out and the air is out. Uh, water is going to drain from those tubes, and so to compensate for the for the for the weight of the launch torpedoes, um, we have these two tanks, um, and uh, these tanks, they are uh, they're flooded through a hull valve. On the port side, so there's a hole valve on the port side that uh, that can open to uh, flood uh, the tanks. But uh, that's uh, my quick, uh, quick and dirty torpedo uh, uh, explanation, I guess. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get in position or get ready for uh, take care of these. Uh, Merchants here. Air Kaloi. Okay. Uh, we're in good attack position. We're in the middle of the convoy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Grab us some merchants here. Rohr 1, bewässern! Rohr 3, bewässern! And uh, if you didn't know, um, there's the impact pistol, and then there's also a magnetic, so you can switch uh, between the two. And if you do that, um, uh, you do that through the through the TDC, and the TDC will will uh, send that information to the torpedo, so it knows uh, what it needs to use.
Sounds like we got a hit. But we're uh, take care of this one here. Might need to get out of the way pretty soon. we don't uh, get run over by merchant. to uh, make sure we prepare for uh, we need to evade but uh, we're gonna follow see if we can get closer to uh, this merchant here okay we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can uh, get this one here we are uh, a different uh, that's actually um, yeah there we go now we can do a good distance here okay set Roh 2 bewässern Roh 4 bewässern these out before we have to dive. So uh, three good hits, looks like. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's dive deep here. <laughs> 